Constitutional rights are critical for advancing the rights and well-being of children. They are similar to a foundation of a home. If you have a strong foundation, if you enshrine constitutional rights uh, for children, then the rest of the home can be built solidly. Without constitutional rights or constitutional recognition of children's rights, then the rest of children's rights and programs and policies for children are on more shaky footing. And so it is critically important that we have an effort to advance children's rights at a constitutional level. The challenge with doing this is that amendments to constitutions can take a very long time. It is, it can take years and we know in terms of children's development that one year or two years can make a huge difference in their life trajectory. So it's important to find ways to not only work on advancing children's rights at a constitutional level, but also ensure that progress is being made in other ways. The second area or second challenge for constitutional children's rights is one of implementation. Once we achieve recognition at the constitutional level, which is very important, we still need to ensure adequate implementation. So for example, in the United States, um, although school, the Constitution has recognized that children should not be forced to attend segregated schools, we know even today, more than 60 years later, some children still attend segregated schools. And while there have been, there's been significant progress on juvenile justice in the last 20 years in the United States, we know many children still are incarcerated and experience rights violations in the juvenile justice system in the United States. So we need to work very hard to ensure that constitutional rights include rights of the child, but we also need to ensure that we are successfully implementing those so that rights are relevant at all stages of children's development. Thank you.